Okay, the verb hacer in Spanish roughly translates to to do or to make in English. Um, we'll get into some other of the other uses of the verb hacer um, that don't translate to either of those two in English. Um, one of which is to express how long it's been since something else happened. So in English we use the word ago. I go for that, but in Spanish, um, you use hacer. <clears throat> the conjugations for it are yo hago, tú haces, él, ella, o usted hace, nosotros hacemos, vosotros hacéis, ellos, ellas, ustedes hacen. Um, so let's just do just a couple of the first uh, to ask a question. Que hago? What should I do? Que hago? <clears throat> que haces? What are you doing? Que haces? Que hace? What is he doing or what are you doing formal? Que hace? Que hacemos? What should we do? Que hacemos? Que haces? What are you all doing? ¿Qué hacéis? ¿Qué hacen? What are you all doing in Latin America? Or what are they doing? ¿Qué hacen? Now let's try each one with postres, which just means desserts. So these are each of the different subject pronouns making desserts. Hago postres. Haces postres. Hace postres. Hacemos postres. Hacéis postres. Hacen postres. If we wanted to combine the two, we could say, ¿Qué hago de postre? What should I make for dessert? ¿Qué haces de postre? What are you going to make for dessert? Let's try it with the word ejercicios, which means to exercise. Um, so in Spanish, to exercise, we say, make exercises. Hago ejercicios. Haces ejercicios. Hace ejercicios. Hacemos ejercicios. Hacéis ejercicios. Hacen ejercicios. That's a quick overview of the verb hacer in Spanish.